Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my lids with the e.l.f. primer. And then I'm going to do a white base with the NYX Jumbo Pencil. And just put this on like that. Sometimes I like this primer and sometimes I don't. I have no idea why. I think maybe sometimes it depends on the shadows that you're using. If you're using better shadows, it works good. But I feel like sometimes when you're using cheaper shadows that it doesn't last all day. I don't know. It seems to help a lot better if you use um, a base with it too. So I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil and I'm just going to put some on my finger and kind of pat it on and swipe. I find it easier to put it on my finger first instead of putting on my eye. It helps to like warm it up so it goes on more smoothly. It is raining so, so hard. I don't know if you could hear the rain. There's like no sun out, so. Okay, the first color I'm going in with is called Behind the Scenes and it's kind of like this gold color. It's really pretty. You can see here, it's just a nice kind of gold color. I absolutely love this color. And I'm going to grab it with a flat brush, and this is just a Bare Minerals um, brush. Tap it off. And I'm just going to press this on. Kind of swipe it. I love this color. I wanted to do a golden green. Because last year I did more of a smoky eye with it, like with black, and I just thought like the gold would be pretty, like a pot of gold, and then have your green. So just pat that on. And then the next color I'm going in with is Oddity, and it's this nice kind of like light kind of mid-green. It comes out darker than I think in the jar, which is a really pretty color. And I'm going to take a just a small fluffy brush and I'm just going to start off by going in my crease here and I'm just going to turn the brush um, sideways just so it gets a little thinner right there just so I don't grab more color and you could press it on a little bit and just swipe it the more you put on the darker it will get and then I'm just going to lightly sweep it up a little bit higher. I'm just kind of press it in just on the outer part, just so that part's a little bit darker. And then I'm going to use Cloud Coverage, which is just a matte white color. I'm going to use that for my highlight and under my brow bone. And I like it for blending. I just like to go back and forth just so that it blends into that green color. And then if you want to grab more green, you can grab more green and just go back and forth with the colors just to blend them. Just like that. I didn't pick up any more color, just the brush. And then I'm going to use this flat MAC brush just so that I can get the color on my lower lash line nicely. You could use a Q-tip or whatever works for you. And I'm just going to put it under my lashes. This green I love with my eye color. It looks so nice. I was going to put my contacts in today, but I like how the green looks on my natural eyes, so I opted out of the contacts. I'm going to use a black eyeliner, and this is the MAC Coal, or sorry, this is the MAC Smolder. So any black liner will do. And I'm just going to line my lids. I'm not going thick or anything. Kind of as thin as I can get.
The rain is so loud. I don't know if you can hear it. And then I'm just going to bring it out just a little bit. And then I'm going to put it in my water line. And I'm going to also get it into the lash line. Hear my dog snoring. Get it into the, the lash line really good because then we're going to smudge it. That's what I like about this smolder. It just It's a great smudging color. So now I'm just going to grab a q-tip. I'm going to take some of it off so it's not too fuzzy. And um, I'm just going to just gently smudge the black liner into the green. And then you could always go back in with the green if you need to. Just so it doesn't look harsh or anything. It's a really simple look. I love these two colors together. I think they look so pretty together. I think it's such a pretty combination. And then I used the L'Oreal Double Extend for my mascara. Which is one of my favorite mascaras. I wanted to do lashes. I saved the lashes that I did with my last look because I absolutely loved, loved, loved those lashes. And they were only $1.50 at the Dollar General. And somehow I lost one of them. So, um gonna have to go back and like get a few more. I always do that. I always end up losing my favorite lashes so I never get to reuse them. So I'm just gonna go with mascara today. Because the other lashes I do have, they're um, a matte kind but they're in a brown color so I like don't wear those ones. I just like to do a lot of coats. And then the lower lash line. With this mascara, I usually use it alone. With my other mascaras, I feel like I have to use like two or three different mascaras. But this one seems to be good by itself. So the lighting's probably going to be like off because I have a lamp here just so that you can see it because there's like no sun today but I'll take pictures so you can see the look better it's an easy simple look and it's really super pretty and I think it's great for St. Patrick's Day so here's the look alright guys thanks for watching bye